Hey there, Brian T, Product Line Manager for Senko Advanced Components, and on this video segment, I'm going to show you a couple key features, including how to change the refill cartridges on our smart cleaners. Now, one of the things I did to try to help you understand what's going on and makes our cleaner special is I cut away the part of the handle so you can see the internal components. We have the spring in here that actually drives the turn drive shaft, and this is the helical gear system. So this is the thing that drives how much cleaning strand is dispensed with each engagement. So in this case, what will happen is the spring here that we have is causing the push to go to help drive the cleaner. And then what's happening as the cleaner's engaged, it's coming in and coming back out. So the length of that gear is how much cleaning strand that you're getting. So if you're used to using one of the other cleaners like two or three times to clean an in-face, what you're gonna find is that this cleaner is gonna get it off usually within one shot, uh, especially for light and medium levels of in-face contamination. This gear rides on a pin, and that pin, there's actually two of them in every handle, so they sit on the opposite sides. So that's one of the things that helps make this cleaner very consistent in the cleaning performance. Now, each one of our cleaners, the 1.25 and the 2.5 version, give you 750 engagements. So if you're used to using a 500 engagement cleaner, um, this is going to end up saving you a lot of money because you're going to end up buying fewer cleaners. And also, if you're using it like two or three times, you may find what you're getting is cutting it down to only one engagement using our cleaner. Now, to clean the connectors inside the adapter, it's very simple. You just put it in, put it into the port just like we used to. They also have a hole in the handle, the butt of the handle. So when I'm cleaning, I can put the cap in there. And when I'm ready to clean the jumper, you just simply flip the lid and you're ready to go. And the tool is self-aligning. So 750 shots self-aligning. Now the other cool feature about this, it's also refillable. So to change the refills is a very easy process. Just put the cap in the back, grab it on both ends, and I'm gonna use this hand to pull it out. So what I wanna do is make sure the operators hang on to the handle because remember the handle has the gears as well as the spring. So think of it like this, it's the engine of the car. So now when I get my refill cartridge, they have these ears on it, and all they do is sit in the mounting ears. So I can put it in, and I'm ready to go. So it's a real simple process. All you have to do is just be careful to make sure you mount the two ears in the nubs, and you're all set. Now, if I could just kind of leave you a couple final thoughts. Remember, when you're dealing with fiber optics, you're dealing with... Uh, light signals that are beyond the spectrum that the human eye can see. So you never ever want to look directly into a fiber optic connector. If you do, it could potentially damage your eye if it's live. So best practice, don't do it. The other thing is when you're cleaning fiber optic connectors, make sure you clean both ends of the connector pair. If I only clean one, for example, if I only clean my jumper and I have oil that may be um, like alcohol residue or maybe uh, if you have dealing with outside plant pedestal with some water or moisture that's in there, it's going to transfer. And the way you'll know it is you'll see kind of a coffee ring stain on both ends of the connectors if you pull them out and inspect them. The other thing too is another thing that you see in the field is sometimes people want to plug their connectors up and skip the inspection and cleaning process and only go back in retroactively and try to fix it. The problem with that is if you have dust that gets in between, remember the spring force between the two ferrules is very tight, it's gonna end up embedding the fiber into the glass and into the ceramic and cause a permanent damage, or a lot of times too, it'll cause scratches. So the best thing to do is just take a few extra seconds per end face, inspect them, and then if they need to be clean, clean them. Make sure you do both ends and then mate them. So if you do that, you'll help extend the life of your connectors and you'll get the optical performance that you were hoping to get from your optical interconnects.